we aim to be the world's best in the way we prepare and so uh, we're always striving to get better in a lot of ways and there's always room for improvement. I think we've raised the bar. Uh, each year I've been with these, this group, they've got better every, every pre-season. I think they've continued to do that. Uh, yeah, the focus has changed uh, each year. Uh, whilst we've still got a strong conditioning focus, we've put a lot of time into the school work, so that's been, a, that's been a big focus as well because the boys are in better nick than they were maybe a couple of years ago. So the bowlers go through a huge workload, particularly our fast bowlers, so them being in good shape is paramount to them getting through a season well. And, and for a batsman, if they're going to bat for a long time in the middle, they need to be in good shape. So there's no escaping that. That's a big, big part of cricket. And, and I, players understand that now. There's, we've, got, we've gone past that stage where it's a bit of an education. I understand the importance, so that's not an issue for us. Generally, it's uh, skills and conditioning in the morning, and generally it's weights and more skills again in the afternoon as a, as, a, as a real simple version, with a few other little bits and pieces in there to add a bit of variety. For me, that's probably been the biggest highlight of the pre-season uh, out of everything we've done in that. We've got a lot of players away with either the Aussies or in England playing cricket, and, and that's what we want. We want our players playing at the next level or testing themselves against uh, higher levels of competition. So that's great for us, and it's also good for the boys back here because they've had to take a, another step and, and, and drive the program. You know, we, we encourage the players to take responsibility and drive the program. The coaches are there to help facilitate it, but in the end, the players have got to drive a lot they do out on the ground. But Nick Winter's probably been the standout. Nick always presents himself in a, in a really good way, and uh, he's probably one of our leaders from a physical point of view, but he's, he's showing uh, the leadership aspects in the other, other areas as well. So probably for me, he's been a standout in, in a lot of ways because he's taken that next level in regards to his leadership with the team. Yeah, it's been good for Chad. He's, um, he had a knee surgery, had a, a little clean out of his, um, and that's gone pretty well. And if we talk about, you know, world's best preparation, he's been meticulous in his rehab and coming back. So for me, there's no doubt when people are like that, they're going to come back in good shape and he'll be well prepared as he, as he always is for another season. So that's something we've done uh, for the last few years is given the players strategically a week off when we think they're going to need it best. So we've been going for six weeks. We think now's a good chance to give them a bit of a mental refresher and a, and a physical one as well. Uh, they'll continue to do some training. It won't be the same load they've had uh, while they've been training with us at, uh, together, but they'll have their own programs to do uh, while they're on break and give them a chance to have a bit of a, a bit of a freshen up and then get back into it for another block.